they brought me in and they wanted to speak with me and I told them like I'll start as a janitor if you want me to I'll do whatever you want you want me to take out the garbages I got it I just want to work here and uh, opening came available I think a couple months after that finding out that I had the job I think I cried <laughs> I've, I've had a lot of jobs where I was you know where they tell you you've got the job and usually I smile and shake their hand and walk out the door but this one was really hard I was I don't think it's professional to cry in an, <laughs> when you get hired, but it was really hard to hold that back. It was one of my favorite days. The first time I did heroin, I was 16 years old. Your first time you feel invincible, you can do anything. Uh, you're talkative, a little sleepy best mood you've ever had and instantly I knew like this is probably something I'm gonna want to do over and over and over again. My parents, my family, my significant other, nobody knew about my drug addiction. They might have had suspicions but they didn't know for sure until I called them from jail. And that was the worst feeling. Uh, you know I could just hear the pain from my mom and it's the worst. I just remember feeling like a total loser. Um, going through withdrawals I got really sick in jail. I threw up on my blanket and they wouldn't replace it. So you're sitting there with this nasty blanket, freezing cold, locked up in a cell. That was probably the lowest point. At first they offered drug court and I didn't want to do it. I think for a lot of people that are addicted to drugs, they just want the easiest way. So I thought, well, I could do a little bit of time in jail, and then I'll be done, and I can go right back to what I was doing before. I had to go through drug court for two years, and in that time, you know, they sent me to treatment. I had to do community service. They encouraged me to go back to school. They encouraged me to get a new job, my first job. And I think the longer I did those things, the more I built better feelings about myself, more confidence, uh, you know, and, and drugs weren't so important anymore. kid you're told you can do anything and then um, when you have a felony hanging over your head all of a sudden you feel really limited and it was really hard to find jobs so while I was in drug court even at the simplest smallest places people make mistakes you know I've made many and uh, some people get caught and some people don't but I don't think um, you know making a mistake and becoming a drug addict and you know hurting myself with drugs is something that should affect the rest of my life um, by having a felony and having the experience of going to prison. That's what I love about drug court is it's, it's kind of a case-by-case -case way of treating um, these drug addictions and by doing that they kind of give you a chance to get your life back. <laughs>